Hi, my name is Moses Harris. I'm the co-owner of Bloom and Plume Coffee. I'm a resident of Echo Park, California, and I'm excited to be here today. Uh, the idea for a coffee shop came about because my brother, the world-renowned florist Maurice Harris, had a flower shop in Echo Park, and he wanted to expand his business to create a more local uh, connection point. When we were putting the coffee shop together, it was really important for us to consider uh, sourcing our products as local as possible. Some of the things that we did is we partnered with a pastry vendor uh, down the street, Clark Street Bagels. We sourced their bagels, we sourced their pastries, we also sourced their sourdough. Also, I wanna highlight Rick's Produce, where sometimes, depending on what's in season, we get seasonal jams that Rick's wife personally makes for us, which is amazing, and that's featured on our ricotta jam toast. Uh, another vendor that we really, 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 really love is Wax Paper. So we do a collaboration where we have a sandwich. They make a sandwich special for us and we sell it here uh, every Wednesday. It's called Wax Paper Wednesdays and it embodies collaborations. What we want our communities, is what we want our country, what we want our society to do is to collaborate and to come together. And that's why Bloom and Plume exists, is to create a space of belonging for all marginalized people. We have a saying here, Ambutu, I am because you are. And so partnering with our vendors is the same thing as partnering with our customers, the same thing as partnering with our employees, is we want everyone to be treated as family. We want everyone to be treated as like this ecosystem uh, of kind of like, not a bartering system, but a sense of belonging. Um, I believe that the coffee shop can be a beacon of partnership with gentrification. As we're thinking about who's at the center of the conversation. So, so often gentrification is about being, people being pushed out. So what about the people that stay and what about the people that have been here for 30 years? And so the coffee shop is a place for us to distribute justice, for us to distribute belonging, and for us to distribute important resources that stay right here in the community. We do our best to hire uh, locally. We do our best to prop up the vendors that are in this uh, community. And we also try to do additive services. Uh, we offer weekly meditations. Uh, before COVID, we will offer Run Club. We also do financial literacy classes called Mo Money Matters. Um, and then we try to partner as best as we can to be good neighbors and good, uh, good constituents in this community. I would say the most gratifying experience of creating uh, this hub has been our employees and the relationship that they've built with the customers and the relationship that we've built uh, with one another, whether it's on social media, uh, whether it's through the flowers that we sell on the weekends and the smiles that people uh, have, the, consistent, the consistency of providing a consistent cup of coffee and showing up for people uh, and people knowing your name. Most people do not realize that small business is actually the number one employer in America. So small businesses matter and small businesses in communities of color are super important.